another day, another public meltdown to make fun of. So today we're going to be talking about the train Karen. You've probably seen this video making its rounds on Twitter. But essentially to sum it up, a Karen on a New York City train made a complete dumbass of herself yelling at a couple of German tourists and having an absolute meltdown over it. So I, I was just thinking about this situation and I really think this is why Americans, people living in the United States, get a really bad rap from people outside of the country. It's because of people like this that we'll be talking about today. But before we get into that story, just want to let you know, if you're new around here, hit that follow fucking like button, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries like this one, and uh, yeah, you won't regret it. But let's jump right into the cringe. So yeah, quite a bit to unpack there, absolute lunacy, but I, I honestly think this might be the craziest thing I've seen all year, and it seems like it's kind of a common trend with each of the videos I make. I, I feel like every time you see something crazy, you think it possibly can't get any crazier, but then lo and behold, it gets crazier. But hard to tell the, a lot of the dialogue here. It's uh, A lot of these videos personally need subtitles, if you ask me. But uh, you can pick up on pieces here and there, and so what what it sounds like is she's trying to get him to admit to something he supposedly said, and him and his buddies are saying they didn't say anything to her, right? Which she then responds by telling him he's scared or he's a bitch or something, and she starts pushing him. You notice how she gets real physical with him, trying to get him to retaliate by egging him on to even hit her at one point, and I feel like this is just... This is just fatherless behavior. I mean, she, the only reason she's doing that is because she knows she's a woman and she thinks she can get away with it. You know, funny how once he does stand up, though, and gets back in her face, she's no longer getting all pushy and up in his shit, right? Like, huh, funny, funny how that works, right? And it's kind of funny how dude was like, nah, this bitch ain't even worth it, and he just sat right back down. I have a lot of respect for not only him, like the main guy, but also his buddies there, never retaliating, you know, never cussing her out back. Like, it's just, it, it's honestly just so stupid, but well done to these guys. I mean, this situation is just absolutely insane because the boyfriend very calmly tried to get her to stop multiple times, you know, telling her she's gonna get arrested. And honestly, I have a lot of respect for the boyfriend through all of this as well. I'll get into that a little bit later. But first, I just kind of want to touch upon the fact that once he told her that she needed to stop and that she was going to get arrested, she responds with, I can handle my own. Ah, yes, nothing like the third wave of feminism, man. Yes, because I'm a strong, independent woman who, who quite frankly, don't need no fucking man. I'm going to cause a big scene and, quite frankly, don't need your two cents. Yeah, you fucking idiot. She's got this. But nah, man, like, in all seriousness, these feminist Karens, they never just simply take the time to think about the consequences of their actions. They never think about what it is they're doing. 
and they just continue to do dumb shit in the name of equality, you know, in the name of independence. And I feel like they only act this way because they know that no self-respecting person is going to retaliate in the way they want to, right? Like, how are you going to sit there and keep acting like that when even your own boyfriend isn't on your side? I think personally that speaks volumes on who's in the right here in this situation, in my opinion. Like... I'm all for standing up for yourself, right? Don't get it twisted, but clearly she's she's doing too much here, man. She's making a huge issue out of something that clearly isn't, right? Like, why do these women just think the world revolves around them? Like, yeah, that's what happened. You know, you're some random bitch on the train and these, these German tourists are, are talking about you. You know, all the things they could be talking about and yes, it's you. Like, come on, bitch, you ain't special. The world doesn't revolve around you. And I just really admire how calm and collected, again, that these guys were. And speaking of calm and collected, I want to get back to the boyfriend in this video. I, I want to say first and foremost, he is a true king. He's a better man than I personally, because I would not let my girl make herself look like a jackass like this. Like, this shit must have been so embarrassing for him, but he stayed calm the entire time and missed everyone looking at them, making fun of them. Like, that's tough, my dude. She, she straight up don't deserve you, King, like straight up. But I also want to comment on how he said if she didn't stop, he'd quote, never talk to her again. That shit is so funny, bro. He's like, he ain't putting up with that bullshit, man. If you don't stop, I'm out. Yeah, you would think that would be enough to get through to her. You know, oh shit, I can go to jail, you know, lose my boyfriend. But nah, she keeps going because, you know, again, she's got this. She knows what she's doing. You know, clearly she's in a good state of mind. What also pisses me off too is she kept saying, you know, oh, I love you to him. Like, if you really loved him, you wouldn't continue to embarrass the living shit out of him over something that clearly didn't happen. And why is she even inserting herself into their own personal conversation in the first place? You know, even the boyfriend points this out at one point, you know, that she's eavesdropping. Like, again, once your own boyfriend ain't siding with you, it's time to pack it up. But instead, she continues to say, I love you, proceeds to ignore everything he said and is feeling. Like, King, I'm keeping a buck, man. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Like, like, go ahead and take your own advice. You know, if she don't stop, you're out. And might I suggest you find yourself a woman that doesn't have one of those corny Roman numeral tattoos on their shoulder blade because... That, that's a huge red flag. It's basically the universal sign for I need to talk to your manager. Like, just my humble opinion though. You know, you do with that info what you will. And she eventually does sit down and complains to the boyfriend like a child that they're laughing at me. Yeah, it's almost like you just had a major meltdown similar to that of a child. And of course, they're going to laugh at you and think that. With, uh, with the embarrassment settling in, you know, the boyfriend keeping his cool the whole time, you would think that would be the end of it, but no, she, she actually goes off the fucking rails here. This is the craziest part. So she refers to the, the Taurus as, I think, like fucking immigrants or something. And to the, to the boyfriend, he, he wasn't having that. So he responds with, you know, I'm an immigrant too, right? And holy fuck, is that wild like talking down on them you know thinking you're better than them and that they're trash because they're visiting the country is crazy enough but your literal own boyfriend too immigrated to the u.s like make that make sense and she really tried defending the comment too that's what's really nuts like friendly fire will not be tolerated man the boyfriend multiple times says that's not that that's not right because it isn't but she just wasn't having any of it. And again, at one point, you'd think that'd be the end of it. But she then takes those ignorant beliefs a step further, as if it wasn't bad enough. And she says, why don't you get the fuck out of our country? And dude, my when I saw this, I cringed so hard because you can see bro's face drop, man. He's like, god damn it, shut the fuck up, bitch. But like the old saying goes, See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. And that's exactly what happened, because apparently this went insanely viral, and she's actually lost her job over this. So, yeah, because you were too prideful and unwilling to listen to your boyfriend, now you hit in the unemployment line. Like, bitch, hope it was worth it. But, you know, again, it's cool, guys, because she can handle her own. But, uh, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. Leave a thought down below. I would love to hear what y'all have to say about this. And until next time, guys, this is Runter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.